What's up guys? Um, you caught us right in the middle of our Moto Hose carburetor hose install. And we've already got our radiator hoses. These carb hoses actually come with the radiator hoses and you also get a radiator overflow and a vent hose. So basically, so you don't get this stuff out of whack, we were removing one of these stock pink clear hoses at a time and replacing them with the blue ones that way we didn't you can't get uh, you can't mess up where each one of them go it makes it a lot easier so uh, that's how we're doing it got two down this side got another to do got a couple on the other side but besides that it's real plain and simple uh, they go through that little loop down in front of the linkage and then just kind of go out to that side. So nothing nothing super uh, technical about this install, so I'm not gonna take a bunch of time on it, but uh, just another one, another, another thing we're knocking out on this sick YZ125. Okay, I've got the tank and stuff off. The next one I'm gonna replace is, just took that off. It goes from the head to the top of the left radiator. Grab my prevent moto hose. Smaller end goes on the top. kind to yourself and uh, put these clamps in a direction where you'll be able to get to them next time easily Okay, that's good. Now I'm going to take off this left side radiator, at least take the two bolts out so I can move it around. And I'm going to get these two middle, small middle pieces. That's all we've got left on the radiator hoses. Okay, I pulled off this left radiator and uh, I loosened up the clamps that were on the right radiator and then pulled the radiator off so I could get these little pieces off with it. Now I'm loosening up this side. Twist a little bit, break them free. You can see, there it is. They're slightly different lengths. Moto hose are just a tad thicker <clears throat> than your stocks. Once again, make sure you put these in a direction where you'll be able to get back to them when you need to.
Okay, there's the top. Swap out the bottoms. You're gonna have a little coolant leak out. It's no big deal. Try not to drop all your stuff. Okay. This bottom one that's partially hidden up under this frame can be the trickiest of all of them to get back on on this YZ. Push it on there, get the bottom on. Got the top slid all the way on. Now is your chance before you tighten anything to make sure everything is facing a direction that you'll be able to get to it. Because the worst, last thing you want to happen is this thing start leaking because you didn't get something slid on good or tight. Then you can't get to the clamp you'll be very stressed okay. Okay. all right I've got everything set up on there tight I believe I am good to start tightening Twisting the hose clamp around where I can get to it. Okay, that one's tight. It's tight.
All right, they're all tight. Whoa. I'm going to spin the camera around and show you a better view. And then back out here, you can see that little one down there. I haven't mounted the radiators up yet, so that's why it looks like it's crooked. Looks pretty sharp though, right? That one's up in there. Cool. And now we're just gonna mount the radiators back up and uh, reassemble. Thanks guys.